Hey everyone, Kyle here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix PayPal permanent limitation problem. So let's get started. So now here we are on PayPal. So if you have the permanent limitation problem, there is only one solution for that. That is if you don't have any other options on the notifications that PayPal has sent you that your account has been permanently limited. So what you can do is that you can log in into your PayPal right here. Make sure that you are in a browser and in PayPal.com because it is much more functional here compared to the app. So from here, what you want to do is click here on help at the top. And then once you are here, you simply would want to scroll down until you see message center, which is right here. You want to click on that. So you simply would want to talk with the customer agents right here because they are the only one that can lift the permanent limitation on your account. So from here, as you can see, uh, I you would need to start a new conversation. So just click here on this button right here, and then it would now start uh, a new conversation right here. So simply just go for uh, my account is a permanently disabled or limited, not disabled, but limited. I I need you to fix this. Please help me. Then after that, you would want to uh, send this one right here. So um, in my case, I will not be sending this because there is no problem with my account and I don't want to bother the customer support right here for no reason. But basically what you would want to do is basically just tell them about your account being permanently limited and what might have been the cause and so on. If you know the cause, then just uh, state it right here. And then after that, then once the customer support would reply, they would reply to you with a solution. So yeah, this is basically the most effective way in solving your problem on having a permanent limit here in PayPal. Uh, most of the time, they would just ask you to confirm your identity or request relevant documents or information. So yeah, and also PayPal tends to hold any funds for 180 days. This is the same time frame that buyers have to open PayPal disputes. If no disputes are opened in 180 days, then normally you are allowed to withdraw the funds. But I think that would be too long, so I recommend that you talk to customer support for the best possible result. So that is basically it for this video. Thank you for watching.